Aaron Armstrong was tormented and hysterical after finding the body of his girlfriend Sophie Graddon, an inquest has heard. The fit and healthy boat captain, who worked for his father, was left devastated when he discovered Love Island star Sophie hanging in her parents' home. Aaron took his own life just 20 days later, five days after her funeral was held. At his inquest today in North Shields, North Tyneside, his mother Donna told Coroner Eric Armstrong that her 25-year-old son became hysterical when he discovered his girlfriend's body. The inquest was told Aaron and his brother Ryan had found Sophie, 32, hanging at her home in Pontland, Northumberland, the previous month. Mrs. Armstrong said in a statement to the inquest that her concerned sons had gone round to Sophie's home after Aaron had not heard from her and had grown worried about her lack of activity on social media. He got his brother to take him round as he was worried about what he would find, the statement said. Thirty minutes later, Ryan telephoned his mother in tears to say they had found Sophie hanging and Mrs. Armstrong could hear Aaron screaming. In her statement read by the coroner, Mrs. Armstrong said, Aaron seemed absolutely hysterical. The coroner said it was clear her son was extremely distressed. In the following weeks his mood was quiet and very upset, the inquest heard, a toxicology report after his death found he had drunk alcohol and had enough cocaine in his system to put him in the range of someone who could be arrested for impaired driving if they were caught behind the wheel, the coroner said. The inquest heard that those substances increased the likelihood of violent thoughts and actions. The coroner said new research showed someone who took them together was 16 times more likely to take their own life. He clarified this was not a suicide verdict, but returned a narrative conclusion that Mr. Armstrong having consumed alcohol and cocaine, took his own life by hanging. The coroner issued a warning about mixing alcohol and cocaine, saying, despite the belief that seems to be fairly prevalent in the general public, this is not without risk. I have recently seen an increase in the number of deaths linked to the use of alcohol and cocaine. I cannot believe any one of them thought it was going to result in their death. Sadly it can and does happen. I think Aaron is one of them to whom this happened. His thinking was muddled by the distress of Sophie's death, the distress at having found her, with his brother. The consequence of taking alcohol and cocaine together prevented him from thinking rationally about his actions. Sophie and Aaron met in May and hit it off immediately, the inquest was told. Mrs. Armstrong's statement explained how her son went into Newcastle with friends and he came back the next day with a big cheesy grin on his face, obviously very pleased with himself. Her statement added, initially he was a bit coy, but it became clear that the relationship meant an awful lot to him. Mrs. Armstrong said their relationship was very intense and emotional. Sophie died on June 20. Sophie's inquest had been scheduled to take place this Thursday, but Mirror Online revealed last week that it had been halted after her grieving parents received new information. A representative for Northumberland Coroner's Court confirmed it had been cancelled. A statement read, Please note that it has been necessary to cancel the hearing date for the inquest dealing with the death of Sophie Graddon. Sophie's parents have requested further time to consider a report.